In the county Tyrone, near the town of Dungannon, where many the ructions myself had a hannon, Bob Williamson lived a waver by trade, and all of us thought him a stout orange blade. On the 12th of July, as it yearly did come, Bob played with his flute to the sound of a drum. You may talk of your harp, your piano, or lute, but there's none can compare with the old orange flute. But Bob, the deceiver, he took us all in. He married a papist called Bridget McGinn, turned papish himself and forsook the old cause that gave us our freedom, religion, and laws. Now the boys of the place made some comment upon it, and Bob had to fly to the province of Connaught, took with him his wife and his fixins to boot, and along with the latter, the old orange flute. At the chapel on Sunday to atone for past deeds, Bob said patters and aves and counted his beads, till after some time at the priest's own desire, Bob went with the old flute to play in the choir. He went with the old flute to play at the mass, but the instrument shivered and sighed, oh alas, and tried, though he would, though it made a great noise, the flute would play only the Protestant boys. Bob jumped, and he started, and got in a flutter, and threw the old flute in the blessed holy water. He thought that this charm would bring some other sound. When he tried it again, it played Croppies Lie Down. And for all he could whistle and finger and blow, to play papish music, it just was no go. Kick the Pope! And boil water, it freely would sound, but one paper squeaking it couldn't be found. At the council of priests that was held the next day, they decided to banish the old flute away. They couldn't knock heresy out of its head, so they bought Bob a new one to play in its stead. Now they tried the old flute, and its fate was pathetic. Was fastened and burnt at the stake as heretic. As the flames roared around it, they heard a strange noise. Twas the old flute still playing, the Protestant boys. Toodaloo, toodalee, it's six miles from Bangor to Donagadee.